Hi, this is Dr. Xu. In this video, I will talk about how I cross-reference equations in scientific paper and report writing. In a scientific paper or report, especially if there are many equations like here, we want to automatically number the equation. Also, we want to cross-reference the equations in the content so the equation number in the content is also automatically updated when the equation numbers are changed. For example, here in the content, it mentioned equation 1, which is this equation. But in the process of editing and writing, this equation number may become 2 or other numbers. You want to cross-reference the number here to here, and you want the number also automatically updated. I will show you how to do this in a new file. Normally, what you would do is write an equation, insert equation, I've used this equation as an example. You will put that equation number behind the equation. Click reference, insert caption. Here, select equation and select exclude label from caption because we only need that number without the word equation in front of the number. Click OK. Nor manually put the parentheses around the number one. We will format this equation so the equation is aligned in the middle of the page and the equation number is aligned to the right of the page. Put your cursor in the same line with the equation. Go to home, click this little arrow here. Select tabs. We want the first tab aligned to the center of the page. In this example, from the ruler here, the center is roughly 3.2. I will put 3.2 and set. The second tab, we want this number one, the right part aligned to the right part of the page. Roughly here is 6.2. So I will create a 6.2 aligned at the right of here. And there is nothing before the number one. Click set. OK. If you don't see the ruler here, you can bring it out by going to view and check this ruler box. OK, now put your cursor in front of the equation, press the tab key on the keyboard, and put the cursor in front of the equation number, and press the tab again. Now you can see the middle of the equation is aligned to the middle of the page, and the right of this equation number is aligned to the right of this page. If you need to insert another equation, you can just copy this line and uh, paste it, change the contents of the equation, and the equation number is not automatically updated. To update the equation numbers, click File, Print, and then go back. Now all the equation numbers are updated. You are seeing this, this, and this, and this is because I have turned this paragraph marks on. So you can turn it off. But when I edit my document, I prefer to turn it on so I can see the blank lines and spaces. What if I want to cross-reference one of the equations? For example, here, if I want to write in this research, we have you used equation, I have used equation two. Okay, I want the number to be cross-referenced. So I go to reference, cross-reference here, select equation. Here I have equation two here, and I only need the number. So only label and number. Insert, close. As you can see now, it is cross-referenced. So whenever this number change, this number will also change. But the problem is, although we have selected, we only want the label and number to be shown in the text. But because the equation is placed in front of this number, we cannot get rid of this part in the text. So this is a problem, and this does not work. I have found a way working around it and solve the problem. I will show you how to do it now. Firstly, create a 3 by one table. Go to Insert table, insert table, it's a three by one table. Click OK. Make the middle cell relatively larger than the other two cells. 
as here is where we are going to put the equation. So I set middle cell as um, as five inch wide. The first cell is um, one inch. The last cell is one inch. Now it's wider than the page limit, so I will reduce this middle cell to 4.5. Now it looks good. And select this table and make sure I place the table in the middle of the page. Insert the equation in the middle cell. So insert, I'll select this equation. Okay. Insert the equation caption in the cell on the right. Go to reference, insert caption, equation, click OK. After we're doing that, the, the equation number does not want to be inserted in the table. So the equation number is here now. We can cut and paste it back to the right cell. Make sure the equation is aligned in the middle of the cell. And this number is aligned in the middle of the cell as well. And uh, put the parentheses. Now select the table from design here, from borders, select no borders. Now we can do the in-text cross-reference again. For example, here, to calculate the air flow exchange rate equation three can be used. And here, I want to cross-reference the number here, equation two. So go to reference, cross-reference, equation here, only label and number insert. Here has some little problem, you can just uh, remove it. Now the problem is solved. You don't have this equation in the text anymore. And if you need to write another equation, you can simply copy this table and paste it. I will just uh, insert it here. Okay. Now, as you can see, the equation numbers, this should be one, this should be two, three, and four. And now here need to be three as well. To refresh the numbers, go to file, print, and go back. Now you can see the numbers are all right now, and three is here, three is here. To make it even easier, you can select one of the equation table you have made, select the table, go to insert, click this little arrow, select save selection to equation gallery. Now give it a name, Dr. Xi equation, whatever name you gave it, click OK. Next time when you want to insert an equation to here, you just go insert equation, go down the list, you can see you have Dr. C equation here. Okay, and then you can go to file, print, go back. Now all the equations are numbered and the cross reference are all referenced here to here and here to here, although there is a problem there due to that we didn't use the right way of doing it. All right, this is Dr. Xu. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have other better ideas on how to edit equations, please share it in the comments. Please subscribe, like, and share to support my channel. I will see you in the next video.